Boom. Next. Senior school percentage? 50 to 60? How many of you have senior school children or grandchildren? OK. 50. That's horrible news. Around the world, that is what happens. And it's happening in most of the schools where your children and your grandchildren, nephews, nieces, children of your friends, that's what's happening. And you are in school. How many of you graduated from a university or college? Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and I know most of you are still young enough to be in university, but some of you have graduated and you're an adult. And that's where it is. And that is even worse. It's normal. And it's in Dubai and it's in Japan. And it's in Australian territory of the Australian Aboriginals. It's the same in Kenya. It's the same in New Zealand. It's the same in Argentina. It's the same in the United States of America. It's the same in Deutschland. It's everywhere. And that's why the world is depressed, which it is. That's normal. The good news is that that normal is not Natural, not natural. The reason why all of these declinings occur is because all the wrong formulas are given. Don't daydream. Don't use color. Don't think. Don't move. Sit down. Shut up. Be quiet. Listen to me. And that's why the brain slowly shuts down because it was and probably often is bored. Natural is very different. That is natural. Any stage in your life, you can generate phenomenal energy and creativity. If you study geniuses, and in your operations manual, another item, study geniuses and study how they work, how they function. How did they do it? Because they all use the same basic formulae. As you get older, you should be getting better. You should be getting better. But we have trained ourselves, as indeed I trained myself, to be stupid. You know, I spent years in school and university training myself to be stupid, to be unintelligent, to non-think to become normal. Now that you are in the stage you're in, you have complete freedom. And the delightful question is, what percentage in terms of memory, learning, creativity, what percentage in an average day and people in business, what percentage do they use of that Cognitive skills. What percentage? Okay, so I heard a lot of kind of fives, ones, tens. One, one. So how many of you say somewhere between one and 15%? So a vast majority of you. And that's fascinating itself, isn't it? Here you have, you know, 200 plus young companies, and virtually all of you estimate that it's between 1 and 15%. So you know it's not being used. So in your operations manual, it must say, develop my brain, invest in my intelligence. It's your prime investment. And the fact is that when you're saying 1 to 15%, even that makes you optimistic. Optimistic. 
less than 1%. Bad news or good news? Bad news, bad news, bad news. That's not bad news. That's phenomenally good news, isn't it? Because if you have an oil well and it's run down and the manager says, you know, we'll close it, it's all gone. And then suddenly they discover that there is 99 plus more percent oil down there. How would you feel? Great. So when your creativity has been going down, the bankruptcy is 90% a year of companies such as yours that are being made. What you can do is mine, M-I-N-E, your mind, mind, 99% plus resource. And you get that dream sorted out. You get the vision, the mission statement. You develop yourself and your team. You teach them to think about thinking, to learn how to learn, and to mind map, because the mind map is a thinking tool, which then leads us to the end of this session. I hope the first of many, because this is an introduction to the introduction of the introduction of the introduction to your brain, <laughs> the first step, a question to finalize on. First of all, my my first, my prime language. What do you think my first prime language is? My, my to Tony Buzan's first prime, prime language, English, English, English. How many of you, tell me now again loudly so we take an oral vote. Just tell me your prime first language now. Okay, so English, Arabic. So, I'm going to say no. No and no. The world is now in revolution. It's been revolutions over time. The ages, global ages, not local, but global ages were agricultural, industrial. What age are we in now? Yeah. It, it wins information, technological, digital, those are all, and that's where it is. And we're not. And we're not. So when you thought two seconds ago that you were in that age, you were wrong. And therefore, you're going to build your company on that. And that's wrong. In the information age, the biggest human sickness ever in history caused by that age, called information, and you all knew it. How many of you have suffered from information overload? What does it give your body and mind? Stress, and you all knew it? So you are a team of brains who know all this. So apply it. Right? You say you're in that age, and you're obviously not. You don't want to be in an age where all you're doing is giving yourself stress. So the brain worked on the next age, which was the knowledge age. And now, now, and it's happening in Dubai quite a lot. It's happening in Singapore. It's beginning to happen in China, in Finland. It's the use of the manager of knowledge. Managing knowledge doesn't work. But managing the manager of knowledge, that does work. And what is it that manages knowledge? The brain, your brain manages. And you have to know how to manage the manager. You have to know how to manage your brain. And most people don't know how to do that. And therefore, they go into the quicksand. So we are now in the age of intelligence. Thinking about thinking, learning about learning, creativity, innovation. But a lot of people are saying innovation and they don't know what it means. And they're using language and they don't know what that means. And thinking, they don't know what that means. 
So you now have this wonderful opportunity in this very nurturing environment to help you guide yourself through this, to manage your multiple intelligences. So language. I'm going to give you the final little game for you to play. I want you to imagine that you're a supercomputer. I'm going to ask you to access a piece of data. I want you to kind of close your eyes for 20 seconds and check how long does it take me to access, what did I access, and were there any colors or associations with it. OK, team? So you're now a supercomputer. I want you to access the following piece of data, banana. Check it, how long did it take? What did you get? Any colors or associations? OK, team, quickly in two or three, just say, I got this, this, this. How long did it take? What did I get? So you exchange, starting now. So I hear nanosecond, millisecond, just like that, you know, impossible. So already you are now becoming aware of the fact that your brain and every team member of your team and every member of your family can access data from a vast data bank just like that. And no neuroscientist can do that. Nobody knows. So if you want a Nobel Prize, Work that out, and you will get a Nobel Prize. And you'll get it just like that. So the capacity of the brain demonstrated. Now, when your computer did it, did it give you a nice little computer printout? B-A-N-A-N-A -A -A space. Is that what you got? What did your brain give you? Image, 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 image color association, picture. How many of you got color? image, picture. Keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Look around. Keep them up. Look around. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the human race. <laughs> because that is the way the human brain works. Image and associations. Imagination, association. That is the human language. And when you are building an enterprise, the language that every one of your customers speaks is that language. That's how you communicate to them. That's how you generate ideas. That's how you unleash the intelligences, the capacity that you actually have. So you will never meet a foreigner. There is no foreigner. Everyone speaks your language. And every baby speaks that language. Which is why when you take notes, you're going to use colors. You're going to use pictures. And that is a mind map. A mind map starts with an image. Why is why does it start with an image? Because a picture is worth what? A thousand words. So why write a thousand words, which is what people did and I do, did, when you can just image? And from that, you radiate in the way your brain thinks, and you add branches. Can you add more branches? Of course, as you say. So how long can you go adding branches? Forever. An infinity of infinities. And that's your brain. That's the team brain of your organization, your family. The potential is infinite. The capacity to create and to innovate is infinite. It's not all this tiny little percentages. It's a wonderful future when you know how to use the magical brain that you have been given. So team, inshallah, 
I will look forward to observing the flowering successes of your organizations. I am writing and being interviewed for six articles in these topics in the magazine here during this year. So please ask any questions <coughs> to the organization, to the magazine, and I will continue to deal. And inshallah, I will be here in Dubai many times this year. I will look forward to meeting with you again. And you now probably realize that you are fundamentally geniuses. And the future is in your hands and your minds. Shukran. <laughs>